Hey everybody, this is December the 17th, 2023. I'm going to do a quick video about the vertigo, the dizziness, and the nausea people have been having. And I'm going to tell you what I do for it, and I'm pretty sure it'll work for you. Okay, my sister called me yesterday and said, I'm having vertigo so bad I can't even get out of the bed. And my room's spinning around. I'm, I'm so dizzy, and I'm nauseous, and I'm throwing up. <sighs> So I told her, I said, I've had this before. A lot of people are having this, so that's why I'm making the videos. Now, I have talked about this in some of my other videos, but I want to do a video just about the vertigo and the nauseous, you know, and the throwing up. I want to do a video just about that uh, so we can get the message out there about what to do. When you're having the vertigo or the dizziness where you feel like the room's spinning, your head's spinning, and you're nauseous, and you're throwing up, this is the directed energy weapons hitting you. This is a direct attack on you by the directed energy weapons, okay? These weapons can come through your windows and hit you. They can come under the doors, under the cracks, under the doors and hit you. They can come around the cracks on the side of the doors. They can come through any cracks you've got in your house and hit you. They can also come out of your ductwork. This is very important that people know this. This is a direct attack against you by directed energy weapons. These are invisible weapons. You cannot see them and you cannot hear. Sometimes you can hear them when they slide under your door, but you don't know what it is. These, they can also increase the frequencies inside your house and cause this dizziness and nausea. They can crank up your smart meter and increase the frequencies or electromagnetic frequencies through your smart meter and through your wiring, electrical wiring, and it comes out through all your electronics. They can call, this can cause dizziness too. It causes an imbalance in the ears. So I'm going to tell you what I do because I've had a lot of this and it took me a long time before I figured out what to do. I spent a lot of days in the bed throwing up, didn't know what to do. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing for the vertigo are the, diz the, the dizziness and the nausea and the vomiting that happens when these weapons hit your head and your ears. This is cold pressed castor oil. Cold pressed castor oil that came from the health food store. And as you can see, I've been using a lot of this because it's almost empty. I gotta go back to the store. But this is cold pressed castor oil. You get some of this, and then you take a cotton ball, a cotton ball, pull it in half to make two cotton balls. Now you wanna make sure the cotton balls are pretty big because you're gonna saturate them with this castor oil. And if they're too small, when you, when you saturate them, they can slide down into your ear canal, so you don't want that. You make sure you get them big enough to where they don't slide down inside your ear. But you saturate two cotton balls in the castor oil and then you put these cotton balls in your ears and you wear them as earplugs. This will not only will it stop the nausea and the dizziness, it will also help uh, with the frequencies. It'll help block the frequencies when they hit your ears and your head. Now there have been times when the vertigo was so bad that I also had to saturate my whole head with this. Um, most of the time, it, uh, just doing the ears will work. But if it's a severe case of vertigo, um, you, can, you, can you can put this castor oil on your scalp, saturate your scalp with it. And of course, you're gonna need to put some kind of cap over your, your head, a plastic cap or any kind of cap you've got to, to keep it from keep the castor oil from ruining your bed, your pillow. Uh, but one time I had it so severe that the the cotton balls in the ears was not enough, and so I just opened up this bottle and I poured castor oil all over my head, and I put a, a a satin cap over my head and I wore it to bed. I wore that castor oil on my head for two days before I washed it out, but it works. Okay, this will stop. The dizziness, this will stop the nausea. It will, it will deactivate the nanotechnology in the head and in the ears that's causing, that's, that's reacting to 
the frequency. See, it's the nanotechnology that everybody has in their head and in their body that responds to the frequencies around you. Okay. So you can deactivate the nanotechnology using this. It's not, it's not a one-time thing, though. You have to keep doing it because, of course, they're still spraying us with the nanotechnology. They're still putting it in our food and our water and everything. So we still, you know, they're still, they're still finding ways to keep it implanted inside our bodies. So that means we have to keep up the detox and the deactivation. So uh, I think that's all I wanted to, oh yeah, I also wanted to say that if you, if you have headaches, I've been having a lot of bad headaches lately. I wasn't sure if it was the weapons, but I felt, I felt like it was. Uh, so what I've been doing for the headaches is first, I've been I'm making sure that the cracks under my door are blocked with some kind of, if you got something that sits flat on the floor like metal or anything like that, that you can block the, uh, the weapons from coming underneath your door or the cracks around your door or the cracks around your windows, you need to do that because these weapons can sneak in the smallest little crack and hit you, okay? So I started putting the, uh, the castor oil on a uh, headband. I made me a headband out of flannel and I put the castor oil right in the center of it, of the headband. And then I, and, you know, and, and place it to where the castor oil is over my forehead. And then tie it around my head at night. That's what I've been doing at night. And that will help with the headaches. That'll keep the weapons from hitting your head. Um, of course, you can use castor oil for a lot of other things. You can also put this, you can rub this all over your body. If you, if you have more gallons and you're having the intense itching and singing and crawling on your body, you can put this castor oil on after you do the Epsom salt baths and you can leave this on and this will help protect you from the frequencies that are hitting your body and your head. Of course, you'll have to put on some old sloppy clothes or clothes that you don't care about ruining because the castor oil is pretty thick and it'll ruin your clothes. So if you're gonna put it all over your body, make sure you, you wear some old sloppy clothes to bed. Uh, do whatever works for you, but I'm just, I, I just want to point out how the castor oil will help shield from the frequencies, and it will help deactivate the nanotechnology in the head and the ears. If you're having vertigo, you're going to want to try this. Cotton balls soaked in castor oil, plates in the ears for ear earplugs, and if it's too severe, you can literally saturate your whole head with this. It works. I felt like it's necessary to share this. I know I've talked about it before, but I haven't actually made a video about the vertigo. This is strictly about the vertigo. Okay. The castor oil works. That's all. I love you guys.